incredible the amount of coverage this game is getting here in Cincinnati and around the country today. There are no less than six different broadcasts of this game originating here today, three television and three radio. The Reds are televising the game live here in Cincinnati. Of course, the Phillies television network is carrying it. It's also the NBC game of the week on television. Blacked out in Philadelphia, but as I mentioned, the Phillies' own television network is carrying it today. There's Cincinnati Radio, there's our radio, and there's Venezuelan Radio, a portion of which is sharing our own broadcast booth here. So if you hear something in the background that doesn't sound all that familiar to you, it's probably our Venezuelan friends sending this game back to their audience as well. Well, Jack Bellingham warming up now, getting set to face Dave Cash. Jack is from Winter Park, Florida. He's 33 years of age. He throws a big breaking curveball, a sinking fastball, and a slider. He has had 53 wins in the last three years prior to this one. First pitch for the Dodgers in 1968. He was 3-0 in his rookie year. So it'll be right-hander Jack Billingham to face the Phillies today. And the Bills without Greg Luzinski sitting this one out because of that right knee which troubles him at time. Tommy Hutton will fill his spot in the lineup with Bobby Tolan switching from first base to left field. Dave Cash coming in. Dave batting at 280. Cash, four hits and ten times up here in the series. Bobby Wine coaching third base for the Phillies. Billy DeMars at first base. One win for each side in this series so far. Phillies won the opener 5-4 in 13 innings. Reds won last night 4-1 as Joe Morgan stole the game. Here's Billingham's first pitch. It's over for a strike call. One strike on right-handed batting Dave Cash. Sunny day here in Cincinnati. Billingham's pitch is a ground ball back through the middle. Gloved by Concepcion. Throw to first in time. The ball was right past the mound. Billingham reached down but couldn't get it. But Concepcion fielded on his side of the bag at second. Threw on the run for the out. Coming next is Larry Boa. Larry batting at 252. He'll be batting left-handed against the right-handed pitching of Jack Billingham. Billingham is tall. He's 6'4". He weighs 215 pounds. There's his curveball, but he misses with an outside ball one. Every seat in Riverfront Stadium is sold for this game today. We see a few of them unoccupied at the moment, but the game has been sold out. Here's the next pitch on the way. Fastball, fly ball, right deal. Griffey retreating on it. He catches it on the warning track, going away for the out. Boa, a deep fly to right deal, but Griffey takes it on the run. Two down. Batting third today, Gary Maddox moved up in the order. Gary's two for five this year off Billingham and batting at 327. Maddox has two hits and ten times up in the series. They were both doubles. Here's the pitch to the right-handed batter. Breaking ball. This is outside. Ball one. The Phillies' best hitter against Billingham has been Cash, who is including his at-bat today three for seven off Jack. Schmidt is two for five with a home run and three runs batted in. Here's a broken bat ground ball to Concepcion. He races in, throws on the run in time, and the Phillies are retired in order. At the end of a half inning, Phillies nothing and Reds coming up. There's Pete Rose to lead off for the Reds in the bottom half of the first inning. It'll be Rose, Rippey, and Morgan. And before he comes in, we'll pause for station identification. This is the Phillies Baseball Network. This is the American Forces Radio and Television Service. You're listening to the voice of information for the American Forces at 790 and 1420. It's the end. Elsewhere in baseball this afternoon in the National League, Los Angeles playing at Chase Stadium. Rick Roden to pitch for the Dodgers. He's 11-2. John Matlack, 13-7 for New York. Atlanta at Chicago. Dick Ruthman to go for the Braves. He's 13-12. Steve Rinko for the Cubs. He is 5-7. A later start this afternoon, St. Louis at Houston. In the American League, Kansas City at Boston. Al Fitzmaurice, 14-9 for the Royals. Bill Lee, 2-4 for the Red Sox. A later American League start in the daylight. Detroit and Oakland, other games will be played tonight. Lonbor goes into his lineup. A fastball is in for a strike call to Pete Rose. Pete hitting at 321. He's batting left-handed against Lonbor, where his average is 336. Breaking ball is lined to right field. A base hit for Pete Rose. Pete just keeps plugging along. And Rose is now 4 for 10 in the series. Rose with a single to start the game, and that'll bring up Ken Griffey. That 
was the 2,715th lifetime hit for Pete Rose. He is now only six behind Lou Gehrig, who is 36th, or check that, 31st, on the all-time list. Here's the pitch to Griffey. Bluffs a bunt, but takes high, ball one. Griffey, a left-handed batter, hitting a 333. The Reds played very aggressive baseball here last night, forcing the issue in many cases, especially the guy in the on-deck circle right now, Joe Morgan. Lundborg makes the throw to first base, playing the bag today, Tommy Hutton. It's not in time to get Rose. Rose has stolen eight bases this year. He has been caught three times. Pitch on the way to Griffey. High. Two balls and no strikes. Rose, not a likely candidate to steal, but he is an excellent runner to go hit and run with. George Sugar coaching third for Cincinnati, and Russ Nixon coaching at first. Here's Lundborg's 2-0 delivery. Ground ball to ball. Maybe two. There's one with Cash. Throw to first. Safe. Still gets the fourth play at second, but the return from Cash was not quite in time as Griffey really motored down that line. A fourth out, he races Rose for the first out of the inning. And Joe Morgan gets a good hand as well he should. Reds won the game last night, 4-1. to one, And Morgan scored two and drove in two. Joe batting at 338. Lonborg stretches, makes a throw to first, not in time. Morgan's next RBI will be his 95th, and that'll set a club's record for most RBIs in a season by a second baseman. Morgan also had 94 last year. Another throw to first, a little crisper this time. When Joe hits the 100 mark, it'll be the first time a Major League second baseman has driven in 100 since 1950 when Bobby Doerr did it for the Red Sox. He had 109. Pitch to Morgan is high. No, it isn't. It's across the plate for a strike. Andy Olsen with a somewhat delayed call for a strike one. Boone came up ready to throw to first, did not release. On board ready. Here's his one strike pitch. It's inside, just away from Morgan. One ball and one strike. Only four National League second basemen have ever knocked in 100 runs in a season. Rogers Hornsby, Frank Frisch, Billy Herman, and Jackie Robinson. There goes Griffey, swing and a foul back. Griffey will have to return to first base. Griffey had a good jump, but he'll have to come back, and the count is one ball and two strikes to Morgan. This is the 11th meeting of the year between these two teams. The Phillies have won seven, the Reds have won three. And the Phillies have won three of the four meetings here at Riverfront Stadium. Lombard goes to the belt. Griffey is not going. The pitch is fly ball into left field. Bobby Tolan moving to his left. He takes it for out number two. Morgan flies out to Tolan in left field. And Griffey remains at first base. Here's George Foster leading the National League and runs batted in with 111. Foster carrying a 320 average. He is three for nine in this series. Foster, a right-handed batter. Two outs for the Reds. Griffey at first base. Lonborg at the belt. The pitch is a swing and a foul back to the screen. Strike one. In the series windup tomorrow afternoon, Steve Carlton, 16 and four, goes for the Phillies, and Pat Zachary, 11 and five, will pitch for Cincinnati. Starting time will be the same tomorrow, 2:15 Eastern Daylight Time. Throw to first base, not in time to get Griffey. Griffey has stolen 25 bases this year, has been caught five times. Morgan, of course, the leader with 47 steals, and he's only been caught six times. Pitch on the way to Foster, strike call. Good slider by Lonborg right at the knees, and Lonnie is ahead, no balls and two strikes. Most of these games between the Reds and the Phillies have been close. Philly's biggest margin was a 6-1 victory on June 20th at Veterans Stadium. The Reds' biggest victory was by a 7-3 margin. Here's the pitch. It's outside. One ball and two strikes. At one point in this series, the Phillies have beaten the Reds four consecutive times. Here's the pitch on the way. Breaking ball. Fly ball. Shallow right center field. 
Johnstone coming in. And Jay wraps it up for out number three. For the Reds, no runs, one hit, one left. At the end of an inning, no score. Well, when the Phillies return to the vet following their five-city road trip, they'll open an eight-game homestand with the Cubs, Expos, and Pirates. The Cubs are in town for four games starting September 9th and concluding with South Day on Sunday, September 12th. Then it's the Expos for night games on Monday and Tuesday, September 13th and 14th. And the Pirates, Wednesday and Thursday, September 15th and 16th. Your last chance to see the Cubs, Expos, and Pirates this year, and plenty of tickets remain. Batting in the cleanup spot today, Mike Schmidt will be the leadoff man here in inning number two. Phillies retired in order by Billingham in the first inning. Schmidt hitting at 274. Mike with a base running blunder last night, but there was good natured ribbing about that in the Phillies locker room today. As Schmidt was running with his head down and came into third base already occupied by Dave Cash. First pitch is high, ball one. Schmidt with 32 home runs, 86 runs batted in. Right-hander Billingham's pitch, swing and a miss by Schmidt. One ball and one strike. And a reminder that when the Phillies bat next inning, it'll be the Daily News home run payoff. Jack Billingham winds. Here's his pitch. A curveball bounced off the end of the bat as Schmidt was trying to check his swing and foul outside first base. One ball and two strikes on Schmidt. Jay Johnstone on deck. Jack Billingham was out of the red starting rotation for about a month this year. Here's a curveball missing inside. Two balls and two strikes. But he seems to have rehabilitated himself, and he's back in there now. Jack has a 2-2 count on Mike Schmidt leading off the Phillies' second inning. Here's the pitch. Fastball called third strike. And Schmidt is the first strikeout victim today, and he is not happy with the call and lets Andy Olsen know so. He thought it was high. Jay Johnstone will bat. Jay hitting a 3.44, top average in the National League. In the last 11 games, he's 19 for 41. That's a 4.63 mark during which time he has five doubles, one triple, one home run, and has knocked in 10. And in the month of August overall, he's batting at 396. Here's Billingham's first pitch to the left-hander. It misses outside, ball one. Johnstone and Bill Madlock of the Cubs are tied for the National League lead in doubles. Each has 32. Here's the one nothing pitch to him. It's in for a strike call looks from here, and we qualify the from here part of it, as though Andy Olsen has a large strike zone going for him today. Here's the 1-1 delivery, fouled away by Johnstone. Into the upper deck behind the plate, and we have a jam-packed Riverfront Stadium today. In fact, the entire town of Cincinnati is jam-packed. Phillies have been complaining a little bit about the hotel here, because it has been absolutely mobbed, and uh, the autograph secrets have not left the Phillies alone. Here's the 1-2 pitch, it's high outside, a fastball missing, 2-2. Two and two. Even out of the swimming pool, the Phillies have been besieged for autographs. Two balls and two strikes to Johnstone. Breaking ball, Jay throws his bat, missed the pitch, so he'll be a strikeout victim. And that bat wound up behind first base where Seth Davidson gave it a trial swing after retrieving it. So Billingham picks up back-to-back strikeouts of Schmidt and Johnstone. There are two outs in the second inning. Catcher Bob Boone will bat. Boone, he was two for four last night. Bob's average at 2.93. Moved up a spot in the batting order today with the absence of Luzinski. No score in this game. Phillies batting in the second inning. Billingham, a deliberate worker, has his sign, and here's the pitch. Slider misses outside, ball one. Billingham has been quite a pitcher in World Series play. Here's his one nothing pitch. Curveball misses inside. In 23 innings of pitching in the World Series, he has yielded just one earned run. Billingham has never won 20 games, but he won 19 in both 73 and 74. Here's a fastball. It's on the outside corner of strike. A 2-1 count to Bob Boone. Billingham looks as though he's got his good fastball. Looks as though he's having a little trouble getting his curve over the plate. Here's the 2-1 pitch. It misses outside. 
Three balls and one strike to Bob Boone. Two out, nobody on for the Phillies, still looking for their first base runner. Billingham has retired five straight. Called strike, and the count is full, three and two on Boone. Bob thought it was high, made a stride toward first base, but had to come back. Three balls and two strikes on Bob Boone. If he gets on, Bobby Tolan will hit. Billingham into his motion. Here's the pitch. It's outside, ball four, and the Bills get their first base runner. <laughs> Left-handed batting Bobby Tolan heading for the plate. Bobby hitting at 249. Five home runs, 30 runs batted in. Bobby went 0 for 4 last night to snap a six-game hitting streak. Dodgers failed to score in the first inning at New York. That's Roden against Matlack. Cubs and Braves scoreless into the second. Ruthman against Rinko. Kansas City did not score in the first at Boston. Fitzmaurice against Lee. Well, Billingham peering in for a long time to get his sign, and finally that annoyed Bobby Tolan, and he steps out. Tolan is one for five against Billingham this year. Jack stretches. There goes Boone. The pitch is butted, but foul. Bench leaped up to grab the ball, but Johnny caught it on the third base side in foul territory. The ball batted off the plate. So Boone, who had a pretty good jump, will have to come back. Rudy has stolen just two bases this year, and he's been caught stealing four times. Phillies have won three of the five games already played on this 16-game road trip that will carry them from here to Houston, New York, and Pittsburgh before returning home. The one-strike pitch. Bobby cuts at it, but fouls it off the third base side. Billingham ahead on the count, no balls and two strikes. Night games in the National League, San Francisco at Pittsburgh and Montreal at San Diego. Four night games in the American League. Texas at Baltimore, Chicago at Milwaukee, Minnesota at Cleveland, New York at California. Here's Billingham's pitch. A slider is a check swing foul ball by Tolan as he pops it back over the screen. Count stays, no balls and two strikes. After the inning, Boone's at first following a base on balls, the first issued by Billingham. Jack has the sign. And here's his pitch. Swing and a weakly hit ground ball beyond the mound. Concepcion has it. Drops the ball. Safe at first base is Tolan. Boone's at second base. Concepcion bobbled the ball, getting it out of his glove. He fielded it cleanly enough, but he bobbled the ball when he attempted to pick it out and make a throw. And that'll go as an infield hit for Bobby Tolan. So the Bills have two runners on with two out, and it'll be up to Tommy Hutton. Tommy drew a walk as a pinch hitter in the game last night. His first appearance of the series, aside from a pinch hitting job uh, in the opening game, and then Tommy stayed in the game and had two at bats. So actually, Tommy is 0 for 2 in the series with that walk. Hutton batting at 2-12. A fastball is in for strike one call to the left-handed batter. Hutton has one home run, 12 runs batted in. Tommy may be the Major League's best fielding first baseman. Here's the pitch to him. It's high, a ball. runner at second base, Cole on the runner at first base, and there are two outs in the inning. Here's the pitch. Hutton grounds a soft ball down the first baseline, but it goes foul. Slow roller, and Billingham is ahead on the count, one ball and two strikes. Tommy just got a piece of that ball off the handle of the bat. Billingham goes to the belt. And his 1-2 pitch, a curveball, another soft roller, but this is foul in the same spot, fielded easily by Billy DeMars, the first base coach, who returns the ball to Billingham. So it stays one ball and two strikes. Hutton's been hanging in there. When you've got two strikes, you've got to swing at anything near the strike zone, even though you can't get that full level cut at it. The on-deck batter is Jim Lonborg. 
No score in this game. Phillies batting in the second. Pitch on the way from Billingham. Curveball misses outside. The count level on the count. Two balls and two strikes. Billingham has struck out two. He has walked one. He has issued one hit. Not an infield hit by Bobby Tolan. Jack ready to go to work. And the 2-2 pitch on the way. A blooper toward left field. Will it drop? It may. It is caught on the run by Foster in fair territory. A nice running catch by Foster. And he just got it before crossing over the line. And there isn't much room in foul territory down that way either. Good running catch. Phillies in the second. No run. One hit. Two left. At the end of an inning and a half, no score. The play to start their half of the second inning. And they will lead it off with Johnny Bench, the catcher who is hitting at 245. Bench has 14 home runs, including one in this series, and 68 runs batted in. Right-handed batter. Here's the first pitch from Lomborg, and it catches the strike zone. Bonnie with a good slider to start it off with John Bench. Tony Perez will follow, and Dave Concepcion will bat third. Here's the 0-1 pitch, swinging in a foul back by John. Bench is two for six in the series with a home run. He drew three consecutive walks in last night's game. Into the windup goes Lundborg. Pitch on the way. Outside. One ball and two strikes. Bonnie ready again. Here's his one-two delivery. A curveball misses outside. A two-two count to Bench. Reds had a hit in the first inning, a leadoff single by Pete Rose, but he never advanced beyond first base. He was erased on a force play, and Griffey was stranded at first. Chop foul behind the plate, two balls and two strikes to bench. On board ready, here's his 2-2 to bench. High, ball three, and the count runs full to John Bench. The full count pitch to bench. He cuts it off for a foul as he pops it behind the screen. Bench is 0 for 6, batting against Jim Lomborg this season. Last night in the Phillies Daily News home run payoff, the inning was the ninth inning, and there were no home runs, of course. The Phillies didn't have any in the game. Here's the pitch on the way to bench. Very high fly ball to left field. Tolan coming in, staring into the sun. Drifting toward left center, but making it for the out right in front of Gary Maddox, standing there and giving him room. So Johnny Bench is retired on a fly, and that'll bring up Tony Perez. In the Daily News home run inning last night, Julio Simpson of Philadelphia and Lavelle of Upper Derby, Cheryl Toner of Ridley Park, and Frank Castle of Atlantic City, each one reserved seats to a future Phillies game. First pitch to Perez is foul back, strike one. Tony hitting at 254, 13 home runs, 69 runs batted in. Freddie Lynn has homework for the Red Sox in the first with one on his 10th of the year. Here is a line drive over Schmidt's head at third base into left field, a base hit for Perez. Tolan firing the ball back in and makes a good throw to second base. Good thing Perez didn't decide to try for more. A line single by Tony. Second hit off Lomborg, and the batter is Dave Concepcion. Geronimo is coming to the plate. I guess the Reds have switched their lineup on us today. We were told they had the same lineup as yesterday, but Geronimo is coming up. They had been batting Concepcion ahead of Geronimo. Here's the pitch to Geronimo, and it's high, ball one. Geronimo batting 296. one nothing. the count for the left-handed batter. Pitch on the way, it's high, ball two. with one away. Nobody has scored yet in this game. Von Borg stretches, and here's his pitch. 
Fastball right across the belt for a strike. Two balls and one strike to Cesar Geronimo. Lonnie stretches, has a look at Perez, who is not a running threat, and pitches high. The count runs to three balls and one strike. Lonnie has not walked anyone today, nor does he have any strikeouts. His next strikeout will be his 100th of this season. Here's his 3-1 pitch. Fly ball down the left field line, foul, and curving toward the seat. Philly strikeout leader, of course, is Steve Carlton with 131. Lomborg is next at 99. Ron Reed, though a reliever, is third best with 79. The count is full on Cesar Geronimo, three balls and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Perez is running. It's a fly ball to right field, playable by Jay Johnstone. Coming in a few steps into his right. Jay grabs it for the out. Perez returning to first base. That's the second out of the second inning for the Reds. And Dave Concepcion will bat. Concepcion, one for ten in the series. Dave batting at 279. Pitch by Lonborg, misses outside, ball one. Lonnie was 8-0 at the start of this season. Then ran into some problems, lost his next three decisions. Now seems to have righted himself when he's won his last two. Here's a pitch missing inside. Two balls and no strikes. In his last two games, Lonborg has beaten Montreal and Atlanta to bring his record to 14-8. Lonnie's last complete game win was back on July 23rd against Pittsburgh. Here's the pitch. A drive into left center field running hard as Maddox, and he gets there for the out. That ball was hit on the nose, but Concepcion is out. For the Reds in the second, no runs, one hit, one left at the end of two, no score. And we get back here between innings. Jim Lonborg will lead off the inning for the Phillies. He'll be batting for Herman L. Travers of South 57th Street in Philadelphia. Lonnie this year batting at 189. Ten hits and 53 times to the plate. Last night, our home run payoff was in the ninth inning of the game. There were no home runs in the inning. There was, however, a base hit by Bob Boone. Philly sending four batters up in the ninth inning. So Julio Cintron of Philadelphia, Anne Lavelle of Upper Derby, Cheryl Toner of Ridley Park, and Frank Castle of Atlantic City all win four reserve seats to a future Phillies game. Jim Lundborg staring down at Bobby Wine before taking his spot in the batter's box. Phillies have had one hit off Jack Billingham, and that was an infield single by Bobby Tola. Here's the pitch to Lonborg. Fastball misses inside, ball one. Lonnie with one double, and two runs batted in. Billingham ready. Here's his next pitch. It's a strike call on the outside corner. One ball and one strike to Jim Lonborg. Then back to the top of the order for Cash and Boa. in Cincinnati. There's no score in the game. Pitch misses outside. Ball two. Two and one to Lonnie. Phillies in first place by 14 games. Pirates won theirs last night to cut a game off the Phillies lead. Here's the pitch. Check swing, but it's a strike call in the corner. Two balls and two strikes. Phillies have won 83 times and lost 43 times. Dodgers continue their pursuit of the Reds, winning their game last night. Pitch to Lonborg, misses high, and the count goes full. Lonnie is making Billingham work. Three balls and two strikes. Lonborg batting for Herman L. Travers of Philadelphia in the Daily News home run payoff. Here's the delivery by Billingham. Swing and a miss by Lonborg. And that's strikeout number three for Billingham. So we send four reserve seats to a future game to Herman L. Travers. Let's pause for station identification, the Phillies Baseball Network. This is the American Forces Radio and Television Service. You're listening to the voice of information for the American Forces at 790 and 1420. Here's Dave Cash. He'll be batting for Philip G. Lyons of Sandwich Street in Philadelphia in the Daily News home run payoff. Cash in his first at bat, rounded out to shortstop. Fastball misses inside, ball one. 
Cash batting at 280. Dave with four hits and 11 times up in this series with the Reds. Dillingham's next delivery, a breaking ball as the looper toward center field. Geronimo coming, he can't get it. It's going to roll to the wall. Cash goes around first, heading for second. He rounds second. He's going to go to third, and he will make it without a throw. A triple for Dave Cash to straightaway center field. Dave Cash getting his 11th triple of the year as he bangs that one into center field. It was a looper. Geronimo Gamble tried for the catch, didn't come up with it, and it rolled all the way to the wall while Cash floated into third base. We send four reserve seats to a future Phil's game to Philip G. Lyons of Sandwich Street in Philadelphia. And that brings up Larry Boa. Larry is batting for Bob Disco of Winding Way in Marlton, New Jersey. Boa flied out to right field in his first time up. A very deep fly ball caught by Griffey on the warning track. So the Bills, maybe with a first chance to score here, a runner at third with one down. Here's the pitch to Bo. It's inside. If Larry would hit that fly ball that he hit in the first inning, the Bills would lead it one to nothing. That was plenty deep enough to score. A one nothing count on Larry Boa. Red's infield is in. They don't want the run to score. Here's the pitch to Larry. Hits it off the handle of the bat. It's a fly ball foul and out of play down the right field side. Red's infield in all the way around. One ball and one strike to Boa. Here's the pitch. Cash is coming. It's but a foul. Bill tried the suicide squeeze, but Larry Boa punted the ball foul down the third baseline. He got it on the ground, but it was foul. Cash was coming with the pitch. Bill's not likely to try that again now with the count one ball and two strikes. The game is scoreless as the Phillies bat in the third inning. And there's one out. Billingham into a full windup. Here's the pitch to Boa. Curveball line back through the middle of base hit. Bills lead it one to nothing. Cash walking across the plate, and the Bills take a one nothing lead on the single by Larry Boa, his 40th run batted in this year. Hard liner by Boa. That was a no doubt about it. That would have been a base hit even had the infield been back. And we send four reserve seats to a future game to Bob Fusco of Winding Way in Marlton, New Jersey. The batter is Gary Maddox. He'll be hitting for Kevin Martin of Marion Avenue in Philadelphia. Gary grounded out the shortstop. Boa at first with one out. Pitch on the way. Outside, ball one. Boa blocked going to second, then held up. He runs batted in for Boa is a career best. Previous high, 38. one nothing pitch to Maddox. Swing and a high chopper toward Rose at third. He'll have one play. Throws to first. It's in time. Boa advancing to second base. Maddox is thrown out by Rose. Boa makes it down to second. Two out. We're going to send four reserve seats to a future game to Kevin Martin of Marion Avenue in Philadelphia. Now here's Mike Schmidt. In the Philadelphia Daily News home run payoff, he'll be batting for Joey Tercy at Wilgrose Avenue in Pensacola, New Jersey. Schmitty took a call third strike when he batted as a leadoff man in the second inning. Schmitty had a single in the game last night, had a double and a single in the opening game Thursday night. Pitch to Mike. Strike call on the outside corner. One strike to count to Mike Schmidt. Boa with a good lead off second base. Two down on the inning. He'll run on anything. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball high. One ball and one strike. Still break on top. One to nothing. They lead the red. Billy scored first in yesterday's game as well. Ritz came right back to get one and tie it in the last of the first inning. Pitch to Schmidt inside. Two balls and one strike to Philly's third baseman, Mike Schmidt. Right 
enter Jack Fillingham, getting the starting call for the Reds today and the 11-game winner. Jack at the belt. Here's his pitch. Breaking ball is outside. Three balls, one strike to Mike Schmidt. Rick Mundy, who's been a hot batter lately, has hit his 24th home run for the Cubs in the third with nobody on base. Billingham at the bell. Here's his pitch. A curveball is inside, and Schmidt draws a base on ball. Second walk issued by Billingham, and four reserve seats to a future game go to Joey Tercy of Wilbur's Avenue in Pensacola, New Jersey. Jay Johnstone will come up with runners at first and second and two down. Jay will be batting for Mike Liska of Camden in the Daily News home run payoff. Jay's got four home runs this year, struck out his first at bat today. Jay, a left-handed batter who is 343 average, leads the National League. First pitch from Billingham, he fouls it back to the screen, strike one. Bills with a run this inning on a triple by Cash and a single by Boa. Billy's about hit the Reds three to two. Here's the one strike pitch to Jay, it's high, and Bench bluffs the throw to second base. Boa goes sliding back in. I don't know whether Bench was bluffing all the way or whether he had trouble getting the ball out of his glove. At any rate, he did not release the ball. One ball and one strike to Johnstone. Billingham at the belt, here's his pitch, a curveball, misses outside. He's had trouble with that curve today, even though his fastball looks like it's pretty good. Two balls and one strike on Johnstone. Billingham ready again. Here's the pitch. A drive into center field. Geronimo over, and he grabs it for the third out. A line drive, but Jay is out. And four reserve seats to a future game to Mike Liska of Camden. The Phillies get a run on two hits, and they leave two at the end of two and a half. Phillies lead the Reds one. To Open to two military transport crashes. I'm Rick James. At least 38 people are... Red pitcher Jack Billingham will lead off for Cincinnati in the third inning. Billingham, though most observers would say and not considered to be a good pitcher, carries to the plate a good average. He's batting at 235. 12 hits and 51 times up. He has had three doubles and he has knocked home four runs. Pitch to the right-handed batter is a call strike. Jim Lundborg has held the Reds to two hits. A leadoff single by Rose. And a one-out single in the second by Perez. Swing and a miss by Billingham. A very weak swing. Lonborg ahead. No balls and two strikes. Lonnie into his motion. Pitch on the way. A ground ball. It goes through on the right side. A base hit. Throw to first base is not in time. Jay Johnstone came up throwing on that ball. And... Uh, it wasn't that close, but he did have a shot. That'll be a single to right field for Billingham. Third hit off Lonborg. Second time in the game the Reds have gotten the leadoff man on. And a good man with bat control coming up in Pete Rose, who singled to start the game. Pete now four for ten in the series. And batting at 322. Pete, a switch hitter, bats left-handed against Lonborg. Billingham not being held on at first base. Pitch to him. Drive to right center field. Way back there. It is out of here. Two run home run for Pete Rose. given up to give the Reds a 2-1 to one lead with pitcher Billingham scoring in front. Here's the pitch to Griffey and it's in there for a strike call. So Rose is 2 for 2 today and he now has 52 runs batted in. Lundborg winds. Here's the next pitch. A curveball is over for a strike call to Griffey, the left-handed batter. And Lonnie ahead. No balls and two strikes. Griffey batted into a fourth play in his first at bat, grounding to shortstop. 
Here's the 0-2 pitch from Lonborg. A ball chopped back to the mound. Lonnie reaches up to grab it, fires to first base for the out. Griffey on a comebacker. Good play by Lonborg. That's the first out of the inning, and Joe Morgan will bat. Morgan flied out to left field. into his motion. Pitch to Morgan. It popped up first base side, but I believe the Phillies are going to run out of room. Uh, catcher Boone is over, but it goes into the third row. It drops into the crowd right behind the Cincinnati dugout on the first base side. Lonnie has been getting ahead of the hitters, but he made a pitch that was too true to Pete Rose. And Charlie Hustle slammed it for his 10th home run of the year. Next pitch on the way to Morgan. It's high, a ball. That's Rose's sixth home run against the right-handed pitcher. He has four home runs the other way. Swing and a foul back by Morgan. So the Reds are on top now, two to one. Reds batting in the third inning. And what else is new? Another one-run game between the Phillies and the Reds. Lonborg has a 1-2 count on Joe Morgan, and now Joe asks for time. Morgan has started every game in this current series. He was quite an influence on last night's game. Here's the breaking ball. This is inside. Last night, Joe stole three bases. And he drove in two runs and scored two runs. A 2-2 count to Morgan, and again he asks for time. Lonborg into his motion. Here's the pitch. A line drive foul down the right field line. Count stays. Two balls and two strikes. Again, here's the 2-2 delivery. A call third strike. Morgan knew it. He just walked away from the plate. Longboard gets his first strike out of the day, and that's the second out of the inning. And the batter will be George Foster. Foster flied out to right field. First time he was at the plate. Pitch to George is a pop foul off the first base side, strike one. Foster batting at 320. Foster now decides to step out and ask for time. He's at 28 home runs this year, leads the league and runs batted in 111. Pitch to him is in for a strike call. balls and two strikes. Checks the swing on a high fastball. Counts one and two. So the single by Jack Billingham certainly played an important role in this inning. That puts the Reds ahead instead of just tying on the home run by Rose. Now the one-two pitch. A drive to right center field. Jay Johnstone over for it and Jay grabs it. Hard hit by Foster, he is out. Reds get two runs on two hits, nobody left on base. Harry Callis will have the play-by-play -play in just a moment. At the end of three full, the Reds lead the Phillies two to one. Leading off for the Phillies in the fourth will be catcher Bob Boone. Cincinnati leading it by a score of two one. Bellingham's first pitch is high for a ball. Boone walked his first time up. One old pitch on the way to Boone. He's checked his swing, but the pitch is over for a strike call. It's one and one. Boone to be followed by Bobby Tolan and Tommy Hutton. One one pitch to Booney is the breaking ball on the outside corner for a strike call, and Billingham is in front of Boone, a ball and two strikes. Next pitch pooped into shallow center field. It's going to fall for a hit. 
Boone singles up the middle, a looper into center field for the Phillies, scores it off Billingham. Boone at first base and nobody out. That'll bring up Bobby Tolan. Tolan bounced an infield single to shallow short his first time up. Bob Boone, runner at first base and nobody out. There's a stretch by Billingham. And the pitch to Tolan. Swing and a ground ball to first. Perez throws to Concepcion. One, the relay. They got the double play the hard way. Tony Perez to Dave Concepcion and back to Tony Perez. So Tolan grounds into a double play. Two outs and nobody on base. And that'll bring up Tommy Hutton. Hutton wide out down the left field foul line. His first time up on a nice running catch by George Foster. in front, 2-1 in the fourth by virtue of Pete Rose, two-run home run. <laughs> Billingham sits down the way to Tommy Hutton is outside for a ball. What a nothing to count to Hutton. Sit down the way. A change is inside the inside corner for a strike call. One of one. One one pitch. Chopped off the plate. Billingham grabs it, turns and throws in time to get Tommy Hunt. Billingham a nice play off the mound. For the fills in the fourth. No runs a hit, no errors, and none left. And after three and a half, it's Cincinnati two, Phillies one. Rookie Butch Thompson is on trial and has five weeks to win his case for staying in the major leagues. The 25-year-old third baseman, who is hitting only 204, came up with some strong evidence in the form of a triple, a homer, and a couple of RBIs Friday night to help power Boston to a 9-4 win over Kansas City. Manager Don uh, Zimmer said that we still have about five more weeks to see what happens. He says nobody in baseball is smart enough to say he's a cinch to play third. We'll just have to wait and see. Zimmer's plan is to give Hobson every chance over the next 36 games to vindicate or convict himself. With a few more games like Friday's, he'll be home free. According to Hobson, he's been feeling very confident, but he just hasn't been swinging the bat. However, he did raise his batting average nine points to two. A couple of more games being played today. Here's the pitch to John Bench. Ground ball off the glove of Smith. It carries into left field and Bench at first base with a ground single. Smith usually makes that play, but thought that ball went off his glove, and Bench will get a base hit out of it. Hit number five given up by Lomborg. That'll bring up Tony Perez. Boyertown, Pennsylvania, playing Newport News, Virginia today. The loser will be eliminated. William Wilmington Manor, Delaware. They have not lost as yet, taking on Trent, New Jersey. That information coming from George Rulon, the national director for American Legion Baseball. American Legion puts out a lot of major league ball players at first base. And nobody out. Lombard throws over there and Bench is back in time. Tony Perez single to left his first time up. Cincinnati leading at 2-1. We're in the bottom of the fourth. There's the pitch to Perez. Swings and he misses at a breaking ball. One strike to count to Tony Perez. He'll be followed by Cesar Geronimo. strike pitch on the way is high for a ball. It's one and one. Stretch by Lomborg. One one pitch. Swings and he misses at a good breaking ball. Ball and two strikes to Tony Perez. Two pitch, fastball high and inside, two and two. Two one Cincinnati, bottom of the fourth. Here's the stretch by Alani. 
2-2 pitch. Making ball that missed, blowing away a full count. Now Lomborg at the belt. Stepped off the rubber. Three and two to Tony Perez. 3-2 pitch, Bench is breaking, it's foul back. Bench was moving on the pitch, but Perez fouled it off, it stays 3-2. Very warm and humid afternoon here in Cincinnati, and on the playing field it is really hot. Sun beats off the Astro turf. Lombard stretches. 3-2 pitch, low ball four, he walks it. So the Reds have their first two men on base here in the fourth, first walk issued by Lombor. That'll bring on Cesar Geronimo. He flied out to right his first time up. He did Lombor well this year, four hits and seven at bats. Schuler starting to throw in the Phillies' bullpen. Two men on base, nobody out. Stretch by Lombard. And the pitch to Geronimo. Bounce foul off to the right of the plate. One strike to Cesar Geronimo. Tomorrow afternoon in the series finale, Steve Carlton against Pat Zachary. Then it's on to Houston for three. To New York for three and to Pittsburgh for three before finally returning home off this long trip on September 9th. One strike pitch, breaking balls, playing in a miss. Having a two to count to Cesar Geronimo. pitch. Fastball inside to him, one and two. John Bench at second, Tony Perez at first. Nobody out, Cincinnati batting, bottom of the fourth. One, two pitch. He checked his swing on a high fastball, it's two and two. Pitch, breaking ball, pop foul out of play, stays two and two. Bonnie mops his brow. Very, very warm out there. The heat and humidity should take its toll on pitchers today. Here's the two-two pitch. Late swing and a foul. He tried to sneak a fastball by him. Geronimo almost hit it out of the catcher's glove with a late swing, but he fouled it off. That stays two and two. Two-two pitch. Breaking ball inside a full count. Oh, Lombard digging a hole for himself. Bench at second, he's single, Perez at first, he walked. Bonnie got in front of Perez also, but then worked the count three and two and lost him. Three and two to count to Geronimo, here is the pitch, swinging a foul back, stays three and two. Full count to Geronimo, Dave Concepcion do up next. Two pitch, swing a line drive, hit the right field. Bench rounding third, he'll hold there as Johnstone gets it back in. Geronimo lines a single to right, and the Reds have the bases loaded, nobody else. Bench 
at third, Perez at second, Geronimo at first, and Dave Concepcion will bat. He lined out to center field his first time up. Cincinnati leading it 2-1. to one. Let's pause for station identification on the Bills Baseball Network. This is the American Forces Radio and Television Service. You're listening to the voice of information for the American forces at 790 and 1420. Base is loaded, nobody out. Here's Dave Concepcion, the Phillies infield, a double plate up. Mitch to Concepcion, swings and he misses at a breaking ball. One strike to count to Concepcion. has his sign from Bob Boone. One strike pitch on the way. Fly ball, deep left field. Colin back, makes the running catch at the warning track. Bench will score. The other runners will hold. So get Concepcion, a sacrifice fly, and a run batted in. Fly ball to deep left. Concepcion knocks in his 53rd run of the year. With one down, that'll bring up Jack Dillingham, who's singled his first time up. Dillingham has hit well this year. He's batting 278. It's almost unbelievable because lifetime, he is an 088 hitter. Two men on base, one out, a run in. Cincinnati now leading at 3 1. The pitch to Billingham. He bunts at a nice bunt. Smith will have to go to first base. Billingham is out on the sacrifice. The play goes. Smith to Dave Cash for out number two. Perez moves up to third. Geronimo to second. That'll bring on Pete Rose with first base open. I would not be surprised to see Lombard walk Rose. Rose against Lombard this year. Six hits and seven at bats. Including his two for two today with a two-run home run. So Rose undoubtedly will be put on. Danny Ozark is out talking over that possibility. Perez at third base, Geronimo at second base, and two outs. Reds lead it by a score of 3-1, bottom half of the fourth inning. To they are going to pitch to it. Here it is, and a tie for a ball. One of nothing to count to Pete Rose. Now the stretch. 1 0 pitch on the way, pops the foul out of play. 1 and 1. A ball and a strike to Pete Rose. probably trying to make really tough pitches on Rose and hope that he goes out of the strike zone. He can afford to throw real good pitches. Pitch on the way is a breaking ball that's over for a strike call. It's two and two. Wayne Twitchell is going to join Ron Schuler in the Phillies bullpen. Two out Cincinnati runners, second and third, and a run is in. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Fastball high, full count. Three and two to Rose. Lombard stretches. Three, two, pitch. Swing and a miss. He went after a high pitch and he struck him out. Rose goes down swinging. Rose a little anxious, and he chased a high pitch, and Lombard punches him out for his second K. 
Cincinnati got a run of the inning. It could have been worse. They had the bases loaded, nobody out. Two hits, two men left on. And at the end of four, it's 3 1 Reds. Randy Jones, the 13th of his career. Other games going on in the National League at the end of four at Chase Stadium in New York. Now that's in the bottom half of the fifth. Dodgers lead the New York Mets one to nothing. Another good pitching matchup. Rick Roden for Los Angeles and John Madlack for the Mets. Atlanta's taking a 2-1 lead over the Cubs in the fifth inning on Ken Henderson's 12th home run of the year with a made aboard. Dick Rufin for the Braves and Steve Renko for Chicago. The Cub run coming on Rick Monday's 24th homer. St. Louis and Houston 2-1 at Houston in the bottom of the second. Favor of St. Louis. Ken Forrest for St. Louis. Larry Durker for Houston. Tim Lombard looks at a strike. It's called to lead off the Phillies' fifth. Lonnie struck out his first time up. Here's Billingham's pitch on the way, swinging a foul out of play. In the American League Day game, Boston leading Kansas City 2-0 in the second at Boston. Al Fitzmaurice for the Royals, Bill Lee for the Red Sox, and Fred Lynn, a two-run home run in the first inning, his tenth of the year. Detroit will be at Oakland later on. Bob Ward is called out on strikes on a fastball low and away. Fourth strikeout for Billingham. That's one down here in the fifth. That'll bring up Dave Cash, who has grounded out, tripled, and scored the Phillies run. Cash leads the National League in triples now with 11. Cesar Geronimo has 10. Winds the pitch to Cash is over for a strike call. We're in the fifth, Cincinnati leading it by a score of 3 1. Now the one strike pitch. Blowing away for a ball, it's one and one. Pitch to Cash, swing and a fly ball down the right field foul line. Long run, Grippy, he's there, and he makes the catch in foul territory. Cash is out, two down. That'll bring up Larry Bowie. He's flying out to deep right line to single to center field, knocking in the Phillies' only run. takes a strike and scores. One strike to Larry Boa. Now the one strike pitch bouncing up there for a ball. It's one of one. Billingham winds one one pitch. Low for a ball, two and one. Two balls and a strike to count the ball with two outs. Here's the two one pitch, swing and a bouncing ball to Tony Perez. He makes the race for the bag in time to beat ball, and the Phillies are out in the fifth inning. No run to Perez and none left. And after four and a half, the score is Cincinnati three and the Phillies one. 43 cars will be on hand Sunday as practice gets underway for the 7th California 500, the last of the three United States Auto Club Championship car 500-mile races this year. The field for the $314,000 race around Ontario's two-and-a-half-mile oval September 5th will be headed by two-time Indianapolis 500 winner and current USAC points leader Johnny Rutherford and defending to the ballpark. The belt is adjustable to all sizes and perfect for back-to-school wear. Four games with the Cubs starting on September 9th. They'll be followed in by Montreal for two and Pittsburgh for two. Plenty of tickets remain for all games. The pitch to Griffey late into right center field for a hit. John's going over to cut it off. Griffey will hold on at first base with a solid line and single to right center. <laughs> Hit number seven for Cincinnati off Lombard, and the Reds have picked up at least a hit in every inning. Here's Joe Morgan. He has flied out to left and was called out on strike. Bruce Beauclair has hit his first home run of the year. 
at Shea Stadium in New York in the fifth with nobody on. Quick move to first, and Griffey nearly was caught. That ties up the game between the Dodgers and the Mets at one to one in the bottom half of the fifth. Another throw, and Griffey is back in time. Griffey stolen 25 bases. Lomborg, another throw, and again Griffey is back. Wayne Twitchell starting to throw in the Phillies bullpen. It's to Morgan, swinging a ground foul into the Cincinnati dugout. One strike to count to Joe Morgan. Reds leading 3-1, bottom of the fifth. Borg, another throw to first base. Griffey back. One strike pitch. Swing and a ground ball foul down the first base side. Coming in through the count to Joe Morgan. George Foster waiting on deck. Has the sign. Here's his stretch. Two strike pitch inside to him. One and two. Ball and two strikes to Morgan. One two pitch. Playing at a high fly ball. Deep right center field. Maddox the way back. It is gone. A home run. Over the right center field pass for a two-run homer for Joe Morgan. In 26 of the year. Runs batted in number 95 and 96 on the year as Griffey scores in front of him and the Reds lead it five to one. Second two-run homer of the game given up by Lombor. Pitching coach Ray Rippemeyer is coming out. Morgan has now tied his personal high for most homers in a season 26. He sets an all-time Cincinnati record for most runs batted in by a second baseman, 96, shattering his own mark of 94. Ray Ripplemeyer is going to the bullpen. This will be all for Jim Lombard. So Lonnie Lee's in the fifth inning with Cincinnati leading at 5-1. We have a pitching change for the Phils, and we'll be back after this brief pause. New pitcher for the Phillies, Wayne Twitchell coming in for Jim Lomborg, who pitches four plus innings. Lonnie charged with five runs on eight hits. And the long ball hurt him today, homers by Joe Morgan and Pete Rose. Of the 16 homers Lombard has given up this year, Cincinnati's hit four of them. Morgan two, Rose one, and Foster one. Wayne Twitchell coming in. appearing in his 17th game of the year. His 15th in relief, he's had two starts. He's won two, lost one, and his earned run mark is 2.14. 42 innings, he's given up 42 hits, 10 earned runs, struck out 44, and walked 10. He has a good strikeout walk ratio. George Foster will be the first one to face Twitchell with Cincinnati leading at 5-1 to here in the bottom half of the fifth inning. Foster is twice slide out to right. Stands in. Which has a sign from Babu, and here's the pitch on the way to Foster. Fastball is inside for a ball. One and nothing to count Foster. Now the pitch to Foster. Fastball swinging a miss. He threw it by him. Quitchell is appeared once previously in relief against Cincinnati in two and two-thirds innings. He gave up five hits and two runs. Here's 
was a pitch to Foster. Breaking ball inside, two and one. Now the two one to him. Low for a ball, three and one.
right pitch on the way. Fastball is over for a strike call. He's in front of Geronimo. Nothing in two. There's the two-strike pitch. Breaking ball fouled off the top of the Cincinnati dugout. Count stays 0 and 2 to Cesar Geronimo. Tony Perez first base and two down. Here's the two strike pitch blowing inside. Now oh, he's hit. He's hit in the foot with a pitch ball. So Perez will move up to second base. Geronimo at first hit by a pitch ball. But Twitchell is digging a hole for himself with some control problems. He's walked two and hit a batsman. He was aided by a double play ball. That'll bring up Dave Concepcion. He is lined out to center and hit a sacrifice fly to deep left. Second, Cesar Geronimo at first and two outs. Mitchell's pitch to Concepcion is a fastball that's over for a strike call. Pitch to Concepcion, breaking ball, pop foul, and out of play. Pitch in front of Concepcion, nothing in two. Tony Perez second, Cesar Geronimo at first. Two strikes to count to Concepcion. Here's the pitch. Sidearm fastball. Foul back up above us and into the upper deck. And it stays 0-2. Reds have five runs and eight hits. The Bills one run and four hits. Concepcion fouls that one back. Stays 0 and 2 to it. Wayne Twitchell roughs up a different baseball. Now the sign flashed by Boone. the two strike pitch. Fastball that missed outside, one and two. Two runs in on the inning on Morgan's two run home run. Reds leading five to one. One two pitch. Breaking ball. Pop foul. Boone giving chase, but he's going to run out of room. It's two rows back. We'll pause for station identification on the Bills Baseball Network. One ball, two strikes to count to Concepcion. Two men on base and two outs. Mitchell's pitch on the way is a breaking ball that bounces up there for a ball. It's two and two. Two pitch fastball around of the shortstop ball. He flips the cash for the force on Geronimo, and the side is retired. But in the inning, Cincinnati got two runs, two hits, big blow, a homer by Morgan. There were no errors in two left. And after five, it's five one red. Now it's time for ball game. Philly's got the first run of this game, the third inning, but Cincinnati has scored two in the third, one in the fourth, two in the fifth. 
getting a couple of two-run home runs from Pete Rose and from Joe Morgan, and the Reds lead 5-1. Gary Maddox will lead off. He's nothing out of two. is twice grounded out. Jack Billingham. Lines of the first pitch to Maddox. Swing and a base hit to left field. The line singled over the glove of Pete Rose. So Maddox has his first hit of the afternoon. A solid line single to left. Gary at first base and nobody out. That'll bring up Mike Schmidt, who has struck out and walked. takes his lead away from first base with nobody out. There's a stretch by Dillingham. Throw to first, Gary Maddox back in time. Once again, the Cincinnati bullpen will jump into activity. There's the first pitch to Schmidt, and it bounces up there, gets away from bench, and there goes Maddox to second base. Only a wild pitch on Jack Billingham. So Maddox is second base and nobody out. One ball and no strikes to Schmidt. Sparky Anderson is not reluctant to take out his starting pitcher. And he has quickly some bullpen activity. Manny Sarmiento, the right-hander, and Will McEnany, the left-hander. Maddox is second base and nobody out. One and nothing to count to Schmidt. Pitch to Mike. Strike called at the knees. One ball and one strike. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball laced into right center field. Griffey a long run and he makes the five running catch. Maddox tags and moves to third and holds there. Good running catch by Griffey. At the warning track in deep right center, Maddox moving up after the catch. The carry at third base with one down. And that'll bring up Jay Johnstone, who has struck out and lined out to center field. Johnstone currently batting 342, including his 0 for 2 this afternoon. play their infield back. They'll concede a run with a 5-1 lead. Maddox third base. One out. Here's the pitch to John Stone. He looks at one wide for a ball. Dillingham's 1-0 pitch. Swing and a base hit to center field. Maddox scores at the 5-2 ball game. John Stone gets his first hit of the ball game. Run batted in number 47 on the year for Jay. So John Stone at first base, one down. That'll bring up Bob Boone. Booney has walked in singles. Morgan comes in to talk to Jack Billingham. Cincinnati leading at 5-2. We're in the sixth. Johnstone at first base and one out. Chuck McGraw is going to start to throw in the Phillies bullpen. There's the pitch to Boone. He drops the butt down the third base side. A beauty. Rose bare hands. Throws not in time. A base hit. Just barely beats the throw. Good play by Boone. Boone not expected to bunt much, and he dropped a beauty down the third baseline. For his second hit of the ball game, and the Phillies have two men on base, one out. That'll bring on Bobby Tolan. Sparky Anderson is coming out, and this will be all for Jack Billingham. Billingham will be taken out of the ball game, and left-hander Will McEnany will come in. So we have a pitching change for Cincinnati. We're in the sixth inning. It's rest by Phil two, and we'll be back after this brief pause. Phil McEnany is making his warm-up tosses. Let's check the Major League scoreboard. Bottom of the seventh to Shea. Dodgers one, Mets one. 
Rick Roden against John Madlock. Quite a pitcher's duel there. Bruce Beauclair tied it with his first home run of the year in the fifth inning for New York. The Cubs are leading Atlanta 4-2, to two, bottom of the seventh. Rick Monday is homer for Chicago. is 24th. Ken Henderson for Atlanta is 12th. Nick Ruthman started for Atlanta. He has been taken out of the ball game. Renko the distance for the Cubs. Houston leading St. Louis 3-2 after 3. Larry Durker for Houston and Ken, rather, Bob Forge for St. Louis. Kansas City has jumped in front of Boston 4-2 in the fourth inning. Alphys Morris for the Royals. The Boston 4-2 in the fourth inning. Alphys Morris for the Royals. Bill Lee started for the Red Sox. Tom Murphy is now pitching. Fred Lynn a home run for Boston. Jerry Martin will come in to pinch hit for Bobby Tolan with the left-hander Will McEnany out of the mound. Martin is batting at 270. McEnany on the year is appearing in his 46th game of the year. He's won two, lost four, saves six, an ERA of 3.69. Two men on base, one out. 5-2 Cincinnati leading the pitch to Martin. Fastball off the end of his bat, foul in and out of the Reds' dugout. One strike to come to Jerry Martin. Jay Johnstone at second, Bob Boone at first. Tommy Hutton do up next. One strike pitch on the way to Martin. Fly ball right field. Easy play for Ken Griffey. He's there, makes the catch. And the runners will hold. So Martin is out, two down. Holly Brown is coming out of the Phillies dugout to bat for Tommy Hutton. Holly Brown will hit for Tommy Hutton. Brown hitting 275, five homers, 26 runs batted in. He has been the Phillies' best pinch hitter. Eight for 21, batting 381 as a pinch hitter. One homer and eight runs batted in. Brown coming out to bat for Tommy Hutton. Jay Johnstone at second base, Bob Boone at first base. Holly Brown standing in to face Will McEnany. Here's the pitch to Brown. It's low for a ball. Just Brown reached base. Greg Luzinski has grabbed the bat on the Phillies dugout. 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Made him a change up, and Brown was well out in front of it. 1 1 the count to Ali Brown. Stretch by McEnany. Pitch to Brown. Fastball. High ground ball, but at Joe Morgan. He has it and throws, and the Phillies are out of the sixth. Phillies got a run in the inning on three hits. No errors, two left. And after five and a half, Cincinnati five, Phillies two. Changes for the Phillies. Jay Johnstone will come in from right field to play first base. Holly Brown will stay in the ball game and play right field. He'll be batting in the number eight spot, vacated by Tommy Hutton. Jerry Martin will also stay in the game and play left field. He'll bat in the seventh spot, vacated by Bobby Tolan. Wayne Twitchell working in his second inning in relief with Jim Lombard. And the first one to face Twitch will be pitcher Will McEnany. McEnany has been a bat four times this year without a hit. Bottom of the sixth, Reds lead is 5 2. McEnany, a left hand batter. Twitchell got out of the fifth inning, although he was wild. He walked two and he hit a batsman. He was aided by a double play ball. the pitch to McEnany, and he takes a fastball high for a ball. One of nothing to count to Will McEnany. 1-0 pitch on the way. Low, ball two. Two and nothing. Here's 
the 2-0 pitch. Over for a strike call, 2-1. Now the 2-1 to McEnany. On the inside corner for a strike call, it's 2-2. Two and two. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a pop foul down the left field line out of play. Stays 2-2 two two to Will McEnany, leading off Cincinnati 6, Reds leading at 5-2. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Swing and a looper into shallow center field. Boa makes a nice play going away. Looping pop into shallow left center. Good play by Larry Boa, one down. That'll bring on Pete Rose. He is singled, homered, and struck out. Wedge of Wines, first pitch to Pete Rose is a bunt try that's fouled down the third base side. One strike to Pete Rose. Wayne Twitchell. 
Working in his second inning in relief of Jim Lomborg. All five Cincinnati runs charged to starter Lomborg. pitch to Griffey. He's swinging another foul on the play. Stays two and two to it. Griffey came into play as the fourth leading hitter of the National League, batting at 333. Behind Jay Johnstone, Joe Morgan, and Phil Madlock. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball, bounced down the first base side. Short hop by John Stone. He fumbles it, can't pick it up, and Griffey is safe at first base. John Stone just moved to first base, tried to short hop the ball, could not pick it up. It'll be an error on Jay John Stone. Griffey at first with two down. That'll bring up Joe Morgan. Morgan is fly to left, struck out, and slugged a two-run homer. Ken Griffey, first base, and two outs. Twitchell does not have a good move to first base, and Griffey might try to run here. He's stolen 25 bases. There he goes on the first pitch, and then he stops. He slips a little bit, and the pitch is low for a ball, one and nothing. Griffey started and then he stopped. He slipped a little bit on the loose dirt at first base. He had designs of trying to steal, but then when he didn't get the good jump, he decided not to go. One and nothing to count to Joe Morgan. One old pitch on the way, pop foul out of play. One and one to count to Morgan. the side from Boone. Here's the stretch. 1-1 one, one pitch. Fastball fouled out of play. 1-2. and two. Larry Kirker has hit a home run in his own behalf at Houston in the fourth with nobody on. His first of the year. And Houston now leading St. Louis 4-2. to two. One ball, two strikes to come to Joe Morgan. by Twitchell. One, two, pitch, pitch out, nothing on. Two and two. Twitchell stretches, two, two, pitch. Breaking ball, high, ball three, full count. So Griffey will take off on the pitch with two outs. But still taking a lot of time getting the sign from Boo. Now he's ready to stretch. 3-2 pitch, swing, a bouncing ball, tap to second, Cash will have to hurry, it is not in time, he beat it out. An infield single for Joe Morgan. Griffey moves up to second base. And the Reds have runners at first and second, two down, that'll bring up George Foster. Foster is twice fly to right and he is lost. to Cincinnati, bottom of the sixth. Reds have two men on base and two outs. Morgan laying out an infield hit. He's at first, Griffey is second. And the pitch to Foster is a breaking ball. He weighs and misses at it. One strike to Foster. Twitchell. 
And the pitch, sidearm fastball as high as one and one. Mitchell gets the sign from Boone. Stretch and a look back at Griffey at second base. The pitch on the way is outside. Ball two, two and one. Foster steps out of the batter's box. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Breaking ball. Check swing foul. 2-2 two two to count the Foster. Griffey at second. He was safe on an air. Morgan at first. Got an infield single. Here's the 2-2 two two pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He chased the bad breaking ball. Low and away. Two strikeouts for Twitchell. That'll be it for Cincinnati in the six. No runs to hit. One error, two left. And after six, it's five, two rest. A rematch. Of Tony Taylor hitting for Wayne Twitchell. He's had two hits and 13 at bats on the year, facing the left-hander Will McEnany. Taylor will be followed by the top of the order. Five, two, Cincinnati. There's a pitch on the way to TT. Rips the base hit to left field. Foster over. Can't cut it off. Taylor heading for second base. Will roll in easily with a double. So Tony Taylor on the first pitch served up by McEnany. Line to double to left field as a pinch hitter. TT at second base and nobody out. That'll bring up Dave Cash. Cash is one for three. He has tripled in three at bats and scored a run. Manny Sarmiento gets back up in Cincinnati's bullpen. Tony Taylor at second base and nobody out. Seventh inning. Goes down five to two. McEnany stretches. The pitch to Cash is a fastball to tie for a ball. Gene Garber is starting to throw in the Phillies bullpen. 1-0 pitch to Cash, swing and a pop foul out of play. One ball and one strike to count to Dave Cash. Now McEnany gets his sign from John Bench. 1-1 one, one pitch. Check swing, bouncing ball to Tony Perez. He'll make the unassisted put out and Taylor moves up to third. So Cash is out, one down. Taylor at third base. That'll bring up Larry Boa. Boa has singled him three at bat. And he has driven in a run. Go bat right against McEnany. A lot of broadcast and telecast today. Cincinnati, the Phillies, and NBC all telecasting. Cincinnati broadcast, ours, and also a broadcast going back to Argentina. So if you're hearing... Spanish in the background, that's what you're hearing. Here's a fly ball left field, shallow. Foster catches it. Taylor will hold at third base. Oh, a flies out to shallow left field. Taylor wisely held up at third. Foster would have nailed it easily. So, Bo is out, two down. It'll take a hit now as Gary Maddox will bat. Maddox is one out of three. 5-2, Cincinnati leading. We are in the seventh inning. This afternoon's game sold out. Tomorrow afternoon's game is also sold out. They just flashed on the board. They're selling standing room only for tomorrow afternoon. There's a pitch on the way to Maddox, and he pops a foul out of play down the right field line. One strike to Gary Maddox. McEnany back on the rubber. There's the pitch to Gary. Outside and low for a ball. It's one and one.
the strike to man. That's Tony Taylor at third base. He got a pinch double, moved up to third on a cash ground out. Then Bo applied the shallow left. One one pitch. Breaking ball. He committed himself. One ball and two strikes to Matt Art. One two pitch. Swing and a bouncing foul down the third base side to coach Bobby Wine. Remains one and two to Gary Maddox. up there for a ball. It's two and two. Here's McEnany's 2-2 two -two pitch to Matt. Our fastball fouled back up this way. It's just over our head. Well, it counts. Stays at two and two, and Matt Ives gets the pine tar claw from on deck man Mike Schmidt. Taylor at third base, two outs in the seventh inning. There's the 2-2 pitch. Fastball fouled on the right field side, and it stays 2-2. Two and two. They play Maddox around to the opposite field. Here is the 2-2 two -two pitch. Strike three call. Maddox called out a strike on a fastball on the outside court. First strike out for McEnany, so the Phillies sail in the seventh. No runs to hit, no errors of one left. We go to the bottom of the seventh. The score is 5-2 Cincinnati. Let's take a look at the baseball scoreboard in the National League. Los Angeles in the seventh inning are tied 4-4 with Kansas City. Play-by-play. Play. Here's Andy Buster. Thank you, Harry. And Gene Garber takes over the mound for the Phillies, and the first man he will face is John Bench. Garber, a right-hander, coming in with a record of 7-3 and three and a 2.76 earned run average. Garber will be making his 47th appearance all in relief today. Bench bluffs the bunt, but takes outside ball one. Bench is one for three today, an infield hit off the glove of Mike Schmidt at third base. Pitch to John again, he bluffs the bunt. This pitch is on the corner for a strike. A 1-1 one -one count on the Cincinnati All-Star catcher. Sidearm pitch, finds the strike zone at the knees, one ball and two strikes. Bench to be followed by Perez and Geronimo as the red bat of the seventh inning and leading the game five to two. Garber ready, and here's his pitch. Again, side arm, and he misses outside. Count level of two balls and two strikes. The Reds have not yet announced officially today's attendance, but they have flashed on the board that tomorrow's game is sold out as well. Standing room only tickets available for the Sunday afternoon attraction. Side arm pitch outside. Count full to bench. Three balls and two strikes. Tomorrow, Steve Carlton will pitch against Pat Zachary. Tonight, a lot of people in Cincinnati will be watching their Bengals on television here. The Bengals are playing the New Orleans Saints. Here's the full count pitch. A breaking ball is high. Johnny Bench draws a leadoff walk to start the red seventh inning. Here's Tony Perez. Perez twice has been walked in this game. And he has a single, so the Bills have not been able to get Tony out. stretches. Here's his pitch. Perez, it's outside, ball one. Garber, the third Phillies pitcher behind Lonborg and Twitchell. The Dodgers and the Mets are tied one run apiece. Here's the pitch on the outside corner of strike. And they are into the last half of the ninth inning. Matlack still pitching against Roden. Beauclair scored the Mets only run on a home run. Garber ready, and here's his 1-1 pitch. It's top foul off the first base side. 
strike two. Chicago leads Atlanta five to two. They've completed eight innings this afternoon. And they're playing afternoon baseball in the Astrodome. Houston leads St. Louis four to three at the end of four and a half innings. There's a fly ball to right field. Ollie Brown coming hard. He's going to get there, and Ollie makes it. Torres flies out to Brown. Bench stays at first base, one down. Cesar Geronimo coming to the plate. Geronimo officially one for two. He was also one when he was hit by a pitch in the fifth inning. Wayne Twitchell hit him. Cesar batting at 297, left-handed batter. Pitch on the way to Geronimo, inside corner, strike call. Gene Garber with his bicentennial beard on the mound for the Phillies. Garber bouncing that rosin bag out there to get the moisture off his hands. It's a hot, sticky day here in Cincinnati. Here's the one-strike pitch. It's outside. Boone comes up ready to throw, but does not release. John Bench, the runner at first base, with one down. Reds have long balled the Phillies today. A pair of two-run homers have them in front. Rose and Morgan connecting. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Geronimo takes the breaking ball for a strike. A 1-2 count on Cesar Geronimo with Dave Concepcion on deck. Gene Garber goes to the belt. Here's his pitch. Breaking ball. Misses outside. Two balls and two strikes on Geronimo. Final game of this series tomorrow afternoon will be on the air at the same time. 2-10. Gene Garber stretches. Here's the pitch to Geronimo. Breaking ball. Just got a piece of it at the plate. Count phase two and two. Phillies on a five-city, 16-game road trip that takes them on down to Houston for night games Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday, they'll be off. Next weekend, they'll be in New York. And following that weekend, they'll go to Pittsburgh for a Labor Day series. Then back to Veterans Stadium on the 9th of September to meet the Chicago Cubs. Garber ready again with his 2-2 pitch to Geronimo. A ground ball through on the right side. A base hit. Bench with a good start will get to third base. And the Reds have runners at the corners on a base hit by Geronimo. With one out, Dave Concepcion will bat. John Bench at third base. Geronimo at first base. Geronimo with his second hit of the game. He's two for three. Here's Concepcion. He does not have a hit yet, but he did drive in the only run the Reds have that wasn't on a home run. It came on a sacrifice fly line drive to left field in the fourth inning, and it scored John Bench. Garber stretches. Here's his pitch. Inside, ball one. Pitcher Will McEnany is on deck for Cincinnati. count on Concepcion. Here's the sidearm pitch. It's a fly ball to left field. Martin retreating on it. He catches. Bench bags up. He will score. And the Reds lead it 6-2. Second RBI of the game for Concepcion. Holding on at first base was Geronimo. So the Reds have a four-run margin again. That's the second out of the inning, and left-handed batting Will McEnany, the pitcher, is at the plate. McEnany popped out to Boa. Strike one to the pitcher. The Reds have six runs and ten hits. The Phillies have two runs and eight hits. 
Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss by McEnany. Garber and Krupp, no balls and two strikes. McEnany, the second Cincinnati pitcher behind Billingham, who is the pitcher of record after working five and a third inning. Here's the delivery. A ground ball, face hit on the right side. Geronimo takes the turn at second and then holds on. That's the second hit by a Cincinnati pitcher today. Billingham got one earlier and scored when Rose followed with a home run. The second hit off Garber. Reds with runners at first and second and two down. So McEnany, who was appearing at the plate for only his sixth time this year, gets a hit. He had been 0 for 5. And here's Pete Rose. Rose is 2 for 4 today. Single and homer, then has struck out twice. Batting left-handed, he takes a strike call. Geronimo, the runner at second, and pitcher McEnany running at first with two down. Red Wheat at six to two. Here's the pitch by Garber, low and inside. One ball and one strike to Pete Rose. So the count is one ball and two strikes on Rose. He carries a better left-handed batting average than he does as a right-hander. At game time today, he was batting 336 as a lefty, 321 overall. Garber has his sign from Boone. And here's the one-two pitch. A drive to right field. Lolly Brown is there, and he grabs it for the out. Pete hit it hard, but Brown catches. And the inning is over. The Reds get one run. They do it on two hits, and they leave two men on base. At the end of seven, the Reds lead the Phillies 6-2. to two. The hand was for pitcher Will McEnany, whose hit last inning was his first in the major league. I hadn't realized that. I knew Mac didn't have any this year. This is his third year in the big leagues, and he finally got his first hit. So the crowd gave him a standing ovation. Mike Schmidt will lead off the Phillies' eighth inning against the tough left-hander. Schmitty today is 0 for 2. Struck out, flied out to right field. He also has a base on ball. McEnany ready, and here's his first pitch to Mike Schmidt. He delivers low, ball one. McEnany took over in the sixth inning. And so far, he's held the police to just one hit. Pitch on the way, outside, ball two. The only hit off him was a pinch hit double by Tony Taylor. Two balls and no strikes to Mike Schmidt. Still playing without Greg Luzinski today, sitting it out with a bad knee. Outside, ball three. Schmitty, I believe, lost track of the count. He started to lean toward first base. Three balls and no strikes. I thought that only happened to sportscaster. Here's the three-nothing pitch. Strike call at the knees, three and one. Schmitty to be followed by Johnstone and Boone. Here's McEnany's 3-1, hard of the plate of strike, count goes full. <laughs> Phillies trail it by a 6-2 score. The Phillies have not scored often in this series. They won the opening game 5-4, but it took 13 innings. Line drive off the glove of Rose at third base into left field. Pete did a terrific job just to get his glove on that ball, in my opinion, going sharply to his left. It just hit off the fingers of his glove and bounded in the left field. A base hit for Mike Smith. Fourth time in the game, the Phillies have had the lead runner on. 
Here's Jay Johnstone. Jay singled in a run in the sixth inning. Jay is one for three. Left-handed batter hitting a 344. Pitch to Jay, low, ball one. Cincinnati is jammed with people for this weekend series. The Reds draw their customers from all over Kentucky and Ohio. Here's a drive by Johnstone down the right field line. A long fly ball way, way back there. It is home run for Jay. A two-run home run for Johnstone into the right field corner. Jay's fifth home run of the year. And the Phillies have climbed back in it. They trail it six to four. A towering fly ball home run for Jay Johnstone. And the Phillies are right back in the hunt. with McEnany and he's going to make a pitching change. He's going to bring in Sarmiento. We've got a pitching change here in Cincinnati. We'll be back after this message. Okay, so the right-hander Manny Sarmiento with a 3-1 and one record and a fine 0 0.95 earned run average taking over the mound for the Cincinnati Reds. Manny Sarmiento. Nobody out in the inning. The Bills with two runs in on the homer by Johnstone, and here's Bob Boone at the plate. The pitch to him is high, ball one. Sarmiento pitched two innings in the Thursday game and gave the Phillies just one hit. One nothing pitch to Boone, high, ball two. So McEnany goes one and two thirds innings behind Billingham and gives up three hits and two runs. Pitch to Boone, high ball three. Jerry Martin on deck. Damiano goes into his motion. Here's the 3 0 pitch. High ball four. Boone draws a four pitch walk. And the Phillies have the makings of an inning. Damiano issuing the walk. is being called back for Timmy McCarver. Tim McCarver will pinch it for Jerry Martin. So Timmy McCarver will be up there and we'll take a look at Timmy's figures for you. He's batting 276 overall with two homers and 23 runs batted in. Timmy as a pincher of this year is six out of 30. That's a 200 average. McCarver, six for 30. Timmy is the most frequently used Phillies pinch hitter. He's been up, as we say, 30 times. Tolan's been up 27, Ollie Brown, 21. So here's left handed batting Timmy McCarver. Sarmiento stretches. Pitch to Timmy, strike call. First pitch he's gotten over the plate. He walks Boone on four straight. Manuel Sarmiento, only 22 years of age, from Venezuela. In 1973, he set a Northwestern League record with saves at 14 of them in a short season. The one strike pitch. A fly ball deep to center field, but Geronimo should get it. He's backing off, and he takes it just prior to the warning track. Here's Boone tagging it first, going to second. He's safe. A gamble by Bob Boone pays off as he gets to second base on the fly ball. But Carver is out. Boone advances to second base. That's the first out of the inning. And Ollie Brown is coming up. in the Phillies bullpen. Phil's spot on the uh, the batter, the pitcher's spot on the batting order is due next. Ollie fouls one off the end of the bat, strike one. Yeah. 
Gene Garber is out in the on-deck circle, but now Greg Luzinski has grabbed the bat and has replaced Garber in the circle. Pitch to Ollie Brown, swinging a ball, tapped back to the mound, but they're going to call it a foul ball. It hit off Brown and then went back to the mound. So it's no balls and two strikes on Ollie. His second plate appearance of the day, he grounded out his first time up. Let's pause for station identification, the Phillies Baseball Network. This is the American Forces Radio and Television Service. You're listening to the voice of information for the American forces at 790 and 1420. Phillies have two runs in in the inning on a single by Schmidt and a home run by Johnstone. Then a walk to Boone. After the Reds changed pitchers, McCarver flied out, Boone tagging and going to second. That's the way we stand. Here's the pitch to Brown outside. One ball and two strikes. And Greg Luzinski on deck to bat for Garber. Sarmiento stretches. Here's Manny's pitch. A little looper back through the middle. It's going to be caught by Morgan at second base, and that's the second out. Just off the handle of the bat, Ollie did not get much of that ball, and he pops out to Morgan at second for the second out. Now batting will be Greg Luzinski. Bull is hitting at 3.07. 20 home runs, 83 runs batted in. Not in the starting lineup today because of a sore knee. Greg has been used three times as a pinch hitter he has not delivered. Bills two runs down. And they have a man on, so Greg is the potential tying run at the plate. Sarmiento stretches. Pitch to Luzinski. Swing and a miss, strike one. Full hit a home run in the series. Greg with number 20 in the sixth inning on Thursday night. Mike Schmidt on base at the time. Of Greg's 20 home runs, 15 have been hit at Veteran Stadium. The pitch to him. A foul back over top. And Sarmiano gets the jump in the count. No balls and two strikes. And John Bench is going out to say something to his rookie pitcher. Sarmiano was not on the team at the outset of the year. Called up this season. Replacing Rick Hinton on the roster. and two strikes on pinch hitter Luzinski. Here's the pitch. Swing and another foul back. Greg hangs in there. He is a good two-strike hitter. So Tug McGraw will take over when the Reds bat in the eighth inning as the pitcher for the Phillies. Pitch on the way to the ball. Outside, ball one. One ball and two strikes. second base with two away. Sarmiento stretches. Here's his pitch. Outside, ball two. Two balls and two strikes. Phillies and the Reds battling here. Reds had a four-run margin in this one, but Jay Johnstone just halved it with his fifth home run of the year. And Jay in that race for the batting title is two for four today. Next pitch to Lezinski. A looper off the first base side, foul out of play. Two balls, two strikes to the ball. They have not yet announced the attendance today, but for baseball, this stadium seats 51,963. And it was announced as a sellout prior to game time. A little overcast here in Cincinnati right now. Two balls and two strikes on Luzinski. Here's the pitch. Check swing, third strike. Luzinski strikes out, and so the inning is over. The Phillies get two runs on the homer. There were two hits, and the Phillies leave one on. At the end of seven and a half innings, the Reds lead Philadelphia six to four. Those are making uh, some lineup changes now. Jay Johnstone, who started the game in right field, and then moved into first base, is going back out to right field. Timmy McCarver, who pinch hit, will stay in the game and play at first base.
Brown is swinging over to play left field for the Phillies. Doug McGraw gets his first strikeout. So, at the end of eight full innings, 
The Reds lead the Phillies 6-4. to four. A long way away from here right now. Okay, the Phillies are a bit of a way away from winning a ball game. Let's see if they can do it in the top of the ninth. Last chance for the Phillies, top of the ninth inning, and they're at the top of their order. Dave Cash, who has tripled in score today, will lead it off. Dave is one for four, right-handed batter, facing Manny Sarmiento. First pitch is in for a strike. Sparky Anderson, who is known to have a quick hook, I'm sure will not hesitate to make a change here. And here's a drive to left field. It drops in front of Foster for a base hit. Dave Cash leads off the Phillies' ninth inning with a sharply hit single to left field. The Reds have Raleigh Eastwick warming in the bullpen. Larry Boa, the batter. The Phillies need two to tie. Larry is one for four today with an RBI single. First man aboard in the ninth inning. Bowes way in on the turf at third. Boa takes a cut and fouls it back to the screen. One strike to count on Larry Boa. Back, Gary Maddox is on deck. Phillies with very little room to maneuver now. I think Harmon and Oates are about the only two Phillies who haven't played. Pitch on the way. A drive to left field. A base hit falling in front of Foster. Cash will hold it second. Phillies with the first two men on in the ninth inning. Larry Boa comes through with a sharply hit single. And you guessed it. Sparky Anderson has already made the signal. Sparky is going to the bullpen. He has given Manny Sarmiento enough rope. And he is now going to Raleigh Eastwick to pitch to Gary Maddox as the big hitters come up for the Phillies. Well, the chance is here. Sarmiento will leave. And Raleigh Eastwick will take over. Eastwick will be appearing in his 57th game of the year. That's tops on the Cincinnati staff. He has won eight and lost four. He has a 2.07 earned run average. Eastwick has 18 saves. And should the Reds hold the league, he would be credited with one right here. So Raleigh Eastwick takes over for the Cincinnati Reds. Joseph's seen plenty of him already this year. This is the seventh game in which he has appeared against the Phillies this year. He has lost two games including the 13-inning game the other night. Most times that he has lost, he has lost to Doug McGraw. He hasn't beat the Phillies, but he did earn one save versus the Phillies this year. Sarmiento came into the game with nobody out of the eighth inning. So he will be credited with working one plus inning. Nobody out here for the Phillies in the ninth. the scoreboard at final from New York now. The Mets have uh, backed off the Dodgers today, scoring in the ninth inning and winning that game 2-1. to one. Matt Black gets his 14th win of the year. Rick Roden took the loss. He's 11-3. Bruce Beauclair homered for New York. That wasn't the winning run. Beauclair's homer came in the fifth. And the Cubs have defeated the Braves 5-2. The winning pitcher was Renko. He is now 6-7. The losing pitcher, Dick Ruthman. And Ruthman is now 13-13. Gary Maddox at the plate for the Phillies with two on and nobody out of the ninth inning. The Reds lead it by two. Here's the pitch to Gary. Check swing high, ball one. Gary is one for four today. Single that scored in the sixth inning. Each of the two previous batters came up also one for four and came up with their second hit for the game. Maddox struck out his last time at the plate. Here's the one nothing pitch to him. A looper down the right field line. It is foul ball. would have scored both of them, I do believe. But it was foul, and I can't tell you by how much, because that's the one portion of the playing area which is obscured from our vision here, and we had to watch the sign of first base umpire Pat Davidson. But you can tell as it left the bat that it had a good chance of dropping foul. One ball and one strike on Gary Maddox. 
Phillies battling to tie this game here in the ninth inning. Nobody out. A good rally started with Cash at second and Boa at first. Pitch to Maddox outside. It's out in the dirt and a good backhand stop by John Bench. He is a fine receiver and Bench stepped out and backhanded that short pitch. Two balls and one strike and now home plate umpire Olsen wants to have a look at the ball. to Gary Maddox. Nobody up for the Reds in the bullpen right now. It's Eastwick's ball game. Here's the pitch. Fastball missing outside. Three balls and one strike to Maddox. On deck, Mike Schmidt. Eastwick, a right-hander who throws hard. Here's the pitch to Gary. He fouls it back. Three balls and two strikes. Eastwick makes his home only 10 miles from Veterans Stadium in Haddonfield, New Jersey. Raleigh is 25 years of age. This is only his second year in the big league. Last year, he was tied for high in the National League with saves. He had 22 of them. Ian Roboski. Here's the pitch to Maddox. Pops up foul out of play, first base side. Remain full. Three balls and two strikes on Gary Maddox. Cash at second. Boa at first. Nobody out. Pitch on the way. A drive in the right center field. It may be a tweener. It is. It's rolling to the wall. Here comes Cash. Here comes Boa. Maddox to third. He is right. Phillies have tied the game. Maddox was going to be out of third base. But the ball got away from Rose. So the potential go-ahead run is at third base and a triple for Gary Maddox. Those two runs will be charged to Sarmiento. is very much responsible for Maddox at third base, and here's Mike Schmidt. Now, with no out for the inning, all Schmidt needs to do to get the Phillies ahead is hit a long fly ball. First pitch to him is outside, ball one. One ball and no strikes to Schmidt. Mike is one for three today with a walk. Pitch to him, swing and a miss. Gary Maddox. What a job he has done. That's Gary's sixth triple of the year. The two runs that it in give him 60 for the season. And a clutch hit for Gary Maddox. Phillies with three straight hits to start the ninth inning. Pitch on the way. Fly ball! Deep center field. This ought to do it. Back for it is Geronimo. He catches. Tagging is Maddox, and he waited plenty long to make sure he took, took plenty of time, and he scores for the go-ahead run. Phillies lead it 7-6. Mike Smith, who had only one sacrifice fly RBI all year, last year, certainly came through right here, and he drives in the go-ahead run, his 87th run bat at the end of the year. And remarkably, the Phillies lead this game 7-6, to six, and here's a guy who has a lot to do with the Phillies being back in front on this one, and I'm talking about Jay Johnstone. It was Jay's two-run homer last inning, which got the Phillies back in the chase. First pitch to him is a strike call. Johnstone is two for four today. And uh, Jay has driven in three runs. Pitch to him, checks his swing and takes high. One ball and one strike. So the Phillies with a rally in the ninth inning. And that was the first out. Here's a pitch that gets past Bench. And that'll be ball two. Two balls and one strike. to Johnstone. Here's the pitch on the way. Strike call. And who do the Reds have coming up in the ninth inning? John Bench, Tony Perez, and Cesar Geronimo. 
Let's not put this one in the win column just yet. Here's the 2-2 pitch to Johnstone. It's low, ball three. Bob Boone is on deck. A comebacker by the Phillies today. They pecked away with one in the sixth, two in the eighth, three here in the ninth. Fly ball by Johnstone into medium right field. Waiting for it is Griffey, and he grabs it for out number two. Jay retired on a fly ball, and the batter will be Bob Boone. Two outs, nobody on for the Phillies. They have scored three times in this ninth inning. Eastwick into the windup, and here's the pitch. Low, a ball. One ball and no strikes to Boone. Bob is two for two today with a pair of walks. Pitch on the way to Booney, outside. Two balls and no strikes. So the Reds seemingly had this ball game wrapped up. Reds led the game. Five to one. Here's a ground ball, sharply hit. It spins Rose around. He makes his throw to first low, but in time. That was a great play by Pete Rose. That ball was so hard hit, it spun him around. For the Phillies in the ninth inning, three runs to take a lead. They do it on three hits, and nobody left on base. So at the end of eight and a half innings, the Phillies lead the Reds seven to six. The Phillies have to do is get three outs and they win the game, and Tug McGraw is on the mound to try to do it. Tug took over last inning and had the first perfect inning for any Phillies pitcher today as he retired Griffey, Morgan, and Foster. The latter on a strikeout, and now he's going to face Bench, Perez, and Gio Geronimo as the Reds try to match the Phillies' heroics here in the ninth inning. Bills lead it, 7-6. Phillies about hit the red, 13-11. to 11. So McGraw with a chance to win it. Tug won the extra inning game here on Thursday night. Tug pitched exactly two innings in that game. Johnny Bench heading to the plate. Johnny won for three today, lined into a double play, and walked. He has scored two runs. Here, cheering for the Reds. Doug McGraw goes into his windup. Pitch from the left-hander is a line drive left field. Base hit for Johnny Bench. And the Reds get the potential tying run on base. A sweet thrust by John Bench, and he lined a single to left field. Here's Tony Perez. lineup who can handle the bat well and who are good butters. Uh, Perez is not necessarily the better of the bunch. And it'll be interesting to see what the Reds try to do here. And Danny Ozark is headed out from the dugout to talk with Doug McGraw. So the Phillies may get out of it, but it will not be easy. And the Reds are going to go to a pinch hitter, Ed, uh, pinch runner, I should say. Ed Armbruster is going to come in and run for bench at first base. Ed Armbruster. are coming in. He has stolen five bases this year and has been caught stealing just twice. Phillies are not going to make a pitching change right now. That was just a strategy talk on the mound. Ron Reed is up in the bullpen. Baboon reassuming his spot behind the plate. And the Phillies will pitch to Tony Perez. Now let's see how the Reds play it here, whether they'll be sacrificing or not. Geronimo and Concepcion are the on-deck batters. Tug stretches. Here's the pitch. Call strike on the outside corner, and Perez gave no indication of wanting to bunt. One strike on Tony. So he's batting six right now for a long time. He was the Reds' cleanup man. Pitch on the way, swinging and a foul back over top of the screen. So Tug gets ahead, no balls and two strikes. Phillies 
with three runs in the top of the ninth inning. They not only tie, but go ahead by a run, and now the Reds with their own rally underway. Pitch on the way. Foul back. Armbrister pitch running for bench at first base with nobody out. No balls and two strikes on Perez. Doug has his time. Pitch on the way. Breaking ball. He reaches out and hits it into right field. A base hit. On his way to third base is Armbrister. Here comes the throw. Not in time, but on at the second base goes Perez. This is the American Forces Radio and Television Service. Phillies are going to change pitchers. Ron Reed, the flamethrower, will come in and try to keep that heat down as the Bills are in a terrific jam here in the ninth inning. The potential tying run of third base. I believe Perez is going to be credited with a single and will go to second on the throw. But in any event, there are runners at second and third. Nobody out. And the Phillies are going to bring Ron Reed in to do the pitching. Doug McGraw works one plus inning. He had a perfect inning in the eighth. He gives up two hits here in the ninth. So Ron Reed will be the fifth Phillies pitcher today. Reed comes in with an eight and four record. Reed is making his 45th appearance of the year. He has started three games. The rest have been relief assignments. Reed has a dozen saves. Matt leads the Philly staff. He has been particularly effective against the Cincinnati Reds this year. The last time the Phillies came to Riverfront Stadium, Reed did an amazing job shutting off a rally very much like the one that's brewing right now. He will be facing Cesar Geronimo. Collected fellow. 
who, though he would rather be a starter, has reacted very well to his relief role this year. Here's the pitch on the way. Swing and a miss by Concepcion. No balls and two strikes to the red shortstop. Billy's infield is in. They can't take any chances here. Leading by one in the ninth inning. Pitch on the way. A drive to left center field. It falls in for a hit. Here comes one run in. Here comes two runs in. And the Reds have won the game. A single to left center by Dave Concepcion scores Arbister and Youngblood. And Cincinnati wins the game. the totals in the ninth inning for the Reds. Two runs, three hits, and they leave two men on base. So the final score, the Reds beat the Phillies eight to seven. We'll be back with Okay, so uh, the Cincinnati Reds coming through with some clutch hitting now lead the Dodgers by nine in the National League West. It's 82 wins and 48 losses for Cincinnati. The Dodgers are now 72 and 56. Philadelphia 83 and 44 still leading by uh, 13 and a half games over the Pittsburgh Pirates. Pittsburgh goes in action at San Francisco later on Saturday night. Taking a look uh, at other major league action it was New York 2-1 to one over Los Angeles, so the Mets are now two games above 500 at 65-63 and 63, and uh, have picked up a full game on the Phils, now trailed by 18 and a half games. John Matlack wins the distance for his 14th win against seven losses, Roden the loser 11-3. and three. Renko won that 5-2 uh, Chicago win over Atlanta, saved for oh, Hunter. Ruthven was the losing pitcher, he's 13-13. And that's it on the baseball scoreboard.